With new technology come new challenges. Last night, the I-Team showed us how gas pump skimmers are on the rise, with crooks getting even smarter. But as consumer investigator Alana Otler learned, the Metroplex happens to be uniquely equipped to tackle the problem head on. In the new frontier of credit card skimming, the challenge is catching the crooks. Gone are the days of suspects returning to the scene of the crime. Now the bad guys can park nearby, steal the data via Bluetooth, then drive away unseen. This is what's left behind. I'm able to kind of pull back the memory chip. Special Agent John Day is one of a handful of agents in the U.S. trained to do this kind of work, extracting data from a card the size of a fingernail. It's why agencies all over the country send their skimmers here, the Dallas field office of the Secret Service. The way these cards are stored, they take up very little room. So you could actually put thousands of cards on one of these little chips. This is what a skimmer looks like stripped. At its core, a memory chip that captures everything from your name to your PIN number. Day searches for clues tracing the device back to the criminal. Other than installing them and connecting to them, it doesn't really take someone who's very cyber aware to do this type of stuff. Certain gas stations stay ahead of the curve. The I-Team charted a map of more than 200 gas skimming incidents since 2016. Missing from that list? Bucky's and Quick Trip. QT says its pump shield technology shuts down machinery whenever someone tampers with the chamber. It's in their best interest to take care of this. But Arlington detective Justin Trapach says the best defense comes down to YOU. Inspect the pumps for red security tape and check your phone for a Bluetooth signal. If you can possibly avoid those older pumps, if there's a newer set of pumps at that station or right across the street, that would be the first step. Some lawmakers are looking to tackle skimming head on. A Houston representative is planning to file a bill that would make it mandatory to report a skimmer to the state within 24 hours. The measure would also let the attorney general take action against stations that fail to report a skimmer on their property, Doug and Gilma. And you know, the Bluetooth thing she mentioned, I would have never thought of that. Really so good tip. We get smarter with that. So, what about the merchants, though? Are they doing enough? Do they have any obligation here? It varies and it depends which gas station you go to. Some owners are extremely proactive. Active, inspecting their pumps every day or even upgrading their pumps with newer technology. But investigators did say there is an incentive for some merchants to stay quiet. If they report it, there's a fear people will find out and not want to spend their money there. That's what this legislation could potentially address, guys. Yeah. Okay, Alana, thank you so much. We appreciate it.